What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Bleach the Thousand Year Blood Rock, this time with episode 10, 9, I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you. Uh, last episode was really cool though, uh, one of the more slower paced episodes um, in comparison to uh, the three before, the one before last episode, uh, which were some of my favourites in the whole series to be honest with you, but um, again it was a really fun time, one of the Arankars, the uh, kind of out there uh, darker toned one really kind of stole the show a little bit last episode Mayori was really awesome as well hopefully we see more of him today but um yeah when he entered he was absolutely hilarious um I did see the manga panels for the Zell stuff as well and I think that was actually quite a bit better in the manga from the looks of things it was uh quite a bit more um uh, what's the word for it uh harsh and and kind of on the nose <laughs> uh but it, it wasn't it wasn't too bad in the anime but yeah really love seeing the uh the mag panels of that um we saw ichigo as well headed up to squad zero and up to the palace as well so looking forward to seeing more of that situation again a lot going on right now but excited for today do let me know what you guys think about this episode down in the comment section though leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions and let's get right into the episode it's a guy is now a zombie as well luckily he's not dead but he's controlled, which is bad news as he's probably the strongest person in the vicinity at the minute. Well, I'm not sure if him being brain controlled affects that. And maybe Mayuri might have a thing or two to say about what I just said as well. <laughs> no chance. Ah, shit. Ah, he's got a bit of frostbite. Oof. Jesus. Man, these guys are getting fucked up. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's a nasty one. Oh, shit. <laughs> the speed. Ah. So Hitsukai is actually dead. I didn't actually suspect that, honestly. I just thought he got virused up by the blood. Here he is, the star of last episode. <laughs> I actually quite like the darker skin on his guy. It quite suits him, doesn't it? Not that I care too much either way, but <laughs> Bagaga. That's nice to know he's nice to his subjects. What was this barrier here? I'm not sure I've seen that from him before. I did suspect that Mayuri probably has quite a few new abilities with this new outfit. I mean, I was always experimenting, trying things out. March out of the zombie. Marching out of the zombies part two. Oh boy. I do, what, what was it called? It's like Hizukazu Jizo or something. <laughs> it definitely wasn't, but it was something Jizo. 
uh, is is Mayuri's Bonkai, and it, it was that weird, creepy ass fucking baby thing. So it was so horrific first time you saw that. I'm hoping it's maybe his if he has got a new Bonkai. I'm kind of again just thinking that he has just because it's Mayuri, but I think it might still be kind of based on that weird baby. But yeah, that was quite the surprise when we saw that. Uh, it was really early on as well in Bleach, wasn't it? Well, not really early on, but quite early on. But it was short but sweet, I remember. It stuck with me. How could a character like Mayuri not really stick with you, to be honest? And apologies if I might seem a bit off it, I literally just finished a, a game of football and it was quite hot, so quite drained. What I'm also wondering a little bit is, um, what's happening with Jujutsu Kaisen at the minute with the, the shading? Um, well, not the shading, but I think there's like the, the shadowing and when it's made for TV, they've, they've added some bits that make it look slightly worse. I wonder why that's not the case here in Bleach, especially because of the whole neon kind of vibe that this season's had. I wonder why it's that's been done for Jujutsu Kaisen, but not here. Ash, Ash, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to try. They had Jizo at the end. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, what a horrible opponent. Just getting ridiculed and red. Every step. No chance. <laughs> No chance, I believe this is happening. Mayuri's is too smart for this. What the fuck happened there then? Did Hitsugaya see that? Yeah. Interesting. And it's just going to restart again, isn't it? Why is this happening? Almost like this is but this is the set point. Almost like in like ReZero or something, the set point where he's he's set to return after death. Interesting. I do love stuff like this. I'm a bit of a sucker for a, a ReZero slash a uh summer time render. He now he he now Higarashi type stuff. The past. So it can never really happen. Yeah, <laughs> it just goes back. That is pretty awful. Yeah, what do you do? Oh. Does the hippocampus get destroyed or something? 
goes through too much strain. Oh. The part that keeps you sane. <laughs> wow. This is all just a, an experiment, really, isn't it, Matt, for Mayuri right here? Should have, shouldn't have fought anymore, to be honest. Of course it was. Ashi Sogu... No. <laughs> Ashi Sogu Jisoo. <laughs> Fucking creepy-ass baby is what it should be called. <laughs> Man, his two guys' body's really kind of going through it after death, isn't it? Oh crap, more. Fucking brutality now. Jesus. Imagine this being you you've been mind fucked this whole fight. <laughs> now, now you're just now you're just going through it. Sengbon Zakura Kagayosh. Okay, okay, we're getting a bit of uh Morphine. <laughs> Do you know what this guy does look a bit like he does morphine with those teeth. Although I'm one to speak. I haven't got the best teeth ever. I'm pretty stressed there, man. Oh shit. Oh crap, this guy's from Minecraft. Oh, well, these guys got smoked. Bloody hell. I don't know if you guys feel this way, but... Oh, it's my favourite. But yeah, I don't know if you guys feel this way. I feel like with... um, I forget his name. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's his name? I forget. Call him Kuchki. Um, I always feel a little bit, even even in the arc where we saw his Bonkai revealed and such, I always feel a little let down by Senbo and Zakura Kagayoshi. It's just not, I imagine it's visually really beautiful in the manga. It, it looks nice here as well, but it's just like, it, it doesn't have much of an impact, if you know what I'm saying. It's, a load of, it's funny because it's meant to be quite pretty and beautiful, and it is. But it kind of lacks that impact, in my opinion. I'm probably alone in an island for that. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, I always feel a little bit let down with Semba and Zakara. 
<clears throat> Again, I imagine it's probably better in the manga. Right, this guy's this guy looks a little bit like It looks a little bit like a, a black itchy bay. Pepe <laughs> Pepe the love. Wakabat Brada. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what is this guy doing? So I'm guessing this very edgy looking guy has been touched by love. A powerful fan. Yeah, essentially. Well, maybe not all, but a lot of battles probably happen as I love. I love the the soundtrack that's playing behind this right now. Very fitting. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Oh, oh. lovely juices. Seems acidic. Oh, shit, yeah. Fair enough. That's why I was saying before this episode, I was looking forward to maybe seeing a new Bunkai from Byakuya after his training up there. Obviously, we saw one from uh, from the other two. Um, that's why I was kind of hoping. Like I said, I, I don't feel too much of an impact from Byakuya's Bunkai ever, really. It was a really cool moment the first time we saw it. Don't get me wrong. And that's one of the most beautiful looking ones, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh yeah, of course, the the bow and arrow. Little Cupid right there. Huh. Mayuri got to these two. No. Oh, yeah, he has. Nice. Enemy? Oh. Talk about... Talk about the, the Cupid. I don't these are rank up by taking these guys down. That's a captain right there. 
and never been one of the strongest or one of my favourite captains, but still a captain right there. Okay, kind of like antibodies. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Take your zombies. <laughs> oh, what a shot that is. That's not a girl, fortunately. How do we kill her though? That's the real question. Or him, should I say. No, you know what? I. Oh, this guy's still kicking. No, I, I kind of agree with my Yuri. To an extent. Quite funny actually, I'm watching two of the big three anime right now, Bleach and One Piece, and I'm at, I'm at Thriller Bark right now at One Piece, so I'm seeing quite a few zombies there as well. What are the odds of that? Probably reasonably high, but... Quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> Look at his pants. Oh shit. <laughs> I do like this girl. Not exactly the same, but oh, kind of reminds me a little bit of Pride from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. The mouths. Yeah, she's definitely my favourite. Well, a lot going on today, wasn't there? Actually. Actually spread over quite a few fights and quite a few um, Quincy's. Oh, we saw at least like five or six Quincy's in action today. But as I said, do, you, do any of you guys feel the same about Bakia's? Bunkai, again, I know that I'm probably in the huge minority. I know a lot of people really love Byakuya. But again, in the animated form, especially, I just feel a little bit of a lack of impact of this Senpo and Zakura. Like, you see the swords fading into the cherry blossoms and it looks beautiful, but it just feels like it just sweeps by and people die. <laughs> you never get to see, like, the in-between. Like, it happens. The screen's covered by cherry blossom uh, petals. And then the fight's over. That's why I was, again, that's why I was hoping that we might see a new kind of Bonkai, a reinvented Bonkai for him. It's weird I'm going to compare it to this, but it's almost like how I see guns a little bit in action movies. I don't really care for guns in action movies because of the act like the there is no impact like 
a sadistic as it sounds, I'd rather like a machete or something like that, rather than a gun that just instantly fires. And again, you never get to see the in-between. It's just a shot and then the person's dead. They have arrived. I can't wait to see what's going up, up up here. I can't wait to see the squad zero members in action, hopefully. Is life all that you too early to win, too late to know. Interesting. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um again I and probably a hugely unpopular opinion about Biaki right there, but I've, I've always just kind of thought that. It's always been in the back of my mind. I've never seen anyone else have that opinion on Biaki, so I do wonder if anyone else uh, in the comment section maybe agrees with me and probably might get a bit of hate for that one. But um, yeah, a lot happened today. Bit of a, a cluster of, of things happened and really loved the fight between uh, Mayuri and the zombie uh, Hitsugaya at the start of the episode. I absolutely loved that mental battle. Um, and then, yeah, just Mayuri just absolutely bossing things. So I was very much wrong to say that Hitsugaya is the strongest there. I mean, in pure power terms, he is, but Mayuri with preparation time and, and his genius, yeah, of course, he, he's got everything sorted out. Uh, but yeah, we ended up um, unfortunately seeing the death of, again, the star of last episode, in my opinion, which is a bit of a shame. I'm kind of, kind of a shame Mayuri let him die, to be honest with you. But he's got more powerful zombies now. Um, I can't imagine these guys are going to stay zombies forever. I imagine Hitsugaya, even though they're dead bodies now, um, there must be some way of kind of getting them back into the story because I don't think Hitsugaya is just going to go out being controlled like this. In, in my opinion, he was way too big of a side character for this to happen. I could could be absolutely wrong about that, but oh yeah, I doubt that's going to be the case. Um, but yeah, but then we kind of got into the second half of the episode here where we saw quite a few kind of fights going on. We saw this Cupid... Uh, old man, which he was just very strange, wasn't he? Uh, there's a lot of strange people in this arc in general, isn't there? Um, but yeah, we saw my uh, my favourite of the magical girls here. Um, he had an interesting power with the love stuff, but it was really similar to this zombie stuff. There's a there's a lot of control in general going on in, in these couple episodes. So um, yeah, I, can't, I kind of think he was just kind of thrown in here because he kind of fits the theme of these couple episodes. He wasn't anything kind of major. He had a few fun moments, to be fair. Uh, that shot with his pants ripped was quite funny, but um, again, not not the, not the best Quincy ever or anything, not the guy I, I absolutely love or anything. But yeah, Mayuri, in my opinion, he stole the show today. Mayuri was brilliant. Byaku was cool as well. Again, I was hoping to see a different Bonkai, but um, yeah, maybe uh, I'm just on an absolute item with that. But yeah, let me, maybe it's just too iconic that they didn't want to change it. Do let me know if you guys did think about this episode though down in the comment section. Leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions. I'll be back next week with episode... Uh, who knows? <laughs> uh, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this was 10 today. So I'll be back with episode 11 next week. And luckily we've got a couple more episodes left after that. We've got 12 and 13. So yeah, hopefully see you guys there. Enjoy the rest of your day.